wanted. Hey, Taylor. Hey, Bill. Did you see that they just released the proposed New York State Bitcoin regulations on Reddit? On Reddit? Well, I did not see that, but I did see, and in fact, I'm reading here right now, the new proposed regulations that were just issued um, today. What did they say? Well, basically, what New York State is doing is putting forward a proposal to um, have clear regulations for Bitcoin businesses in the state. Now, it's just for businesses that are going to do things like wallet services or other value-added services, um, not for businesses that accept Bitcoin. So it would be things like Coinbase, right? right. You have to get a a license in the state of New York. They are calling them bit licenses. And basically to get a license, you'd need to apply. You need to pay a fee. The fee hasn't been set yet, um, but presumably the fees are going to be used to kind of operate the regulatory system here that's going to make sure that companies are complying. And it's pretty interesting what they're requiring these companies to do. They're um, requiring them to keep records of the identities and physical world addresses of the people that they do business with. That's because they're worried about any money laundering stuff, right? They want to make sure no one's using it to launder money, blah, blah, blah. And that's a basic kind of know your customer rule anyway that a lot of banks, comply, banks with. comply with. What's interesting here is that they're asking, you know, a Bitcoin company to do it where, you know, the whole point of Bitcoin for many people is keeping your identity anonymous. Right. But in New York State, you need to disclose it. The other thing they're asking them to do is to uh, monitor their transactions for any suspicious activity. If they see any evidence of fraud or illegal activity, they're supposed to monitor and report. And the other thing that's really interesting is they're requiring the company to have in its possession at all times um, the amount of Bitcoin that is owed to their customers mm -hmm. in a one-to-one -one relationship. So if I'm the Bitcoin wallet company and you put 10 Bitcoin into my service, I'm required to have that equivalent 10 Bitcoin at all times with me. So I'm not allowed to basically take that and use it for something else unless I have an equivalent amount that I keep with me. So I could, in theory, probably take your 10 Bitcoin and put it on an exchange to make some money for myself. But if I do that, I have to ensure that I've still got 10 that I can give to you if you ever decide to cash out. Wow, that's a much stricter regulation than even a lot of banks have to comply with. That's right. Banks have reserve requirements, but you know, banks are in the business of taking in deposits and lending them out again. They're in the business of, of that kind of leverage. It seems pretty clear that what New York State wants to do is have um, a clear and consistent set of rules, but also one that really kind of draws a firm line between things like Bitcoin wallet services and banks. But we'll see. There are 45 days allowed now, or allowed starting next Wednesday for public comment. I'm sure that a lot of people are going to weigh in. Well, no they've idea. already started weighing in on Reddit. What are they it's saying like, on Reddit? Well, a lot of the complaints that, that I've been reading have to do with the onerous documentation requirements. Yeah. So apparently these rules require um, 10 years, at least 10 years, right. of, for instance, um, customer complaints to be kept by yeah. um, individually licensed um, Bitcoin companies. So, And a lot of um, the firms in this area are saying that in a new industry like this, that that's a really onerous mm -hmm. um, requirement. Yep. On the one hand, but on the other hand, they're dealing with people's money. So, you know, I tend to come down on the side of safety, soundness, and consumer protection. Um, but we'll see how this plays out. It'll be interesting to, to see. And you should probably be writing your dissertation and not spending your time reading um, on the Reddits. <laughs> <laughs>